Okay, so in the past I've had people come to me and ask about why I'm so against building stocks in villages. And I really didn't have a concrete answer. There was no exact study that I had done and had later written down that I could show these people. But I remembered an incident in World 5 a couple years ago and most of my resistance to stocks was predicated on that and basically it was an experience where I had built it and realized that I was actually getting less honor after building it than I was before due to the d decreased popularity. Well anyway I sort of took a look at how I could uh, make the setup a bit more efficient in other words because if you're going to be building the stocks, you want it as close to the keep as possible for the maximum honor bonus. Now, right now, this world is an age three. Uh, it's world seven, but that, that's the reason I'm getting 64 honor bonus. If you look here in the right hand panel, <clears throat> I'm getting a honor bonus of 64. This is the closest you can, I mean, the furthest away you can get from the keep and still have the same amount of honor bonus. Provided. Now the building itself is 5x5 five five. and I, I I sort of looked this up. The only other real building that is also 5x5 five five that normally goes around the keep is the dancing bear. So basically what I'm going to do here is normally the dancing bear occupies the spot. But in this instance I'm going to put the stocks there for the maximum honor uh, bonus and then build the bear just outside of that. Now normally there is nothing that I would build this far, far away from the keep and for, for honor generation purposes. So this space is clear for building here, for building the bear here. And as you'll see, instead of getting six popularity from building the bear here, I'm only going to get five. So that further reduces the amount of popularity I have in the village, effectively causing the stocks to cost me a total of minus six popularity penalty. So how does it stack up? Well, the design that I used for this demonstration is the one pioneered by Hal from the forums, or Hale. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced. But as you can see, um, he had a very effective setup. The decorative was 157.25, and nobody was able to beat it. And I haven't seen anyone able to beat it without using justice buildings. So this is the most effective passive honor setup and I've covered it in a video before so if you're interested in hearing more about that check that out. But that is the setup I'm using to base these numbers off of. Okay so what I did is everybody knows that I switched the, the dancing bear out with the stocks. That reduced my popularity by minus six total. Now we have, I'm going off of age three to five numbers. Now the honor multiplier I would be making per day in a age three to five world using HAL setup is 628. Now I figured I would just use a nice round number and say uh, 100 popularity. That's, that's what I'm using as my multiplier in all these numbers. So it's not really applicable to this village. I just use this village to show where I put the stocks in HAL setup. So where we're going here is uh, 628 honor multiplier times 100 popularity. Now this results in 600, I mean 62,800 honor per day generated. Now we're going to add the stocks to that. Now the stocks are producing 64. Here we go. The stocks are producing honor bonus of 64. So basically we have that base deco. Uh, 628 plus the 64 resulting in 692 and then we have to subtract six popularity from that because that's what the stocks is costing us because of where because of placing it in the village and then supplanting the, the dancing bear with it so instead of having the dancing bear with that one extra popularity of six we're down to five so that's where the minus six comes from anyway the resulting difference 692 times uh, 94 popularity equals 65,048, which results in a uh, honor difference of 200. And, I mean, 2,248. So basically, if you build the most efficient passive honor setup known to Stronghold currently, and then 
build the stocks in this place and put the dancing, replace the dancing bear essentially with the stocks, just put the dancing bear, bear further out, you are going to be making an additional 2,248 honor per day by having the stocks there. And the thing is, that's not as big as it might sound because the passive honor for ages three to five has been increased by 300%. The thing is, it's going to be costing you a lot to, to buy these villages. You know, I'm in world five now, and it cost me 55 million to buy my 39th village. So the, the honor bonus isn't as big as it might sound. So that's why I'm going to go with the ages one to two honor setup and how much that would be. Now, as we know for ages one to two, hell setup for base uh, honor multiplier is 157.25. I'm going to multiply that again by 100 popularity, which results in a daily honor bonus generation, passive honor generation of 15,725. Now we're going to add the stocks to that. Now the stocks in ages one and two, the maximum bonus is 16. So that results in a multiplier of 173.25, subtract minus six popularity from our 100 base popularity and the resulting equation is 173.25 honor multiplier times 94 popularity resulting in a total of 16,285.5 honor per day for passive honor and that is a difference that comes to a difference of 560.5 honor per day as you can see it is significantly less than in age three where it's over 2000. So yes, if you build the stocks and build it well, you'll be making essentially 560.5 honor additionally in that village per day. However, there is a downside to this and that is the, it knocks down your popularity, it is subtracting an overall six popularity and that can affect your peasant multiplier. For example, if I am at war and I want to get as many peasants as I can, you know, get that multiplier up. I think 130 is uh, maxed out. It's gonna cost me more in bribes if I build all the justice buildings because it's going to continually deduct my popularity. It's going to subtract from it. And it's, I'm gonna to have to offset that somehow if I want to use that village for fast recruiting. So that is the main reason why I'm against them. I just don't feel that the trade-off in popularity is worth the small but it, the small bonus in honor. And there is one, but you trade off popularity for that in a significant amount of it considering if you're going to be building all the justice buildings. Now, I support building at least the top two of them. I, those are very much worth it if, you're, if you need honor. However, the stocks and the burning post to a lesser extent are not quite as worth it. Uh, if you want to build the burning post, I don't, I'm not against that. I think it's a great idea if you don't need the popularity for recruitment. But the stocks, I think, can easily be skipped over because when at the rank you unlock the stocks, is also the rank you're unlocking the gilded statues and stuff. So it really, really isn't a scenario where uh, you, know, you build the stocks first and then just delete it later when you get better honor generating buildings. That is simply not the case because it is one of the later buildings that are unlocked. And yeah, like I said, it's unlocked at the same rank that you unlock the gilded statues at, which are the top um, decorative building. See, these things. So in conclusion, there the stocks exist in the game. They are a positive and quite a flavored addition to it. If you can build a good village, I know not everybody has their honor setup optimized. If you can optimize your setup, you can get it in there where you're actually going to be making additional honor per day. But uh, if you're not careful with it, you could be losing honor per day. If, you, if you're throwing out a building that would have given you more honor, something like uh, stone statues or maybe even dovecots, especially uh, the small flower gardens and the gilded statues. If you're throwing those out to make room for this, you're going to be get, losing more honor than you're gaining. The only way you can actually gain honor with, I shouldn't, I shouldn't deal in absolutes. Most likely, you're only going to be gaining honor with it with a nice, efficient setup. And if that is for you, then go ahead. But 
I don't think it's for the average person and that is why I recommend against building it period don't don't go for research just for the stocks if you're if you want to go for the gibbet the later on the top one uh, that's a reason to research stocks but just to go to the layer don't research stocks just for stocks so yeah those are my thoughts and some numbers on the stocks the justice building thank you very much for listening and until next time farewell Stronghold Kingdoms The battle has just begun